I will stop. Hello there, how are you? Hope you're doing well. Um, today we're gonna do the walk cycle inside Pritzy. Pritzy is a free program, as I said before, so nothing new here. Uh, I decided to do the walk cycle, but we're gonna do it very, very with the, with the basic four poses inside Pritzy. It's gonna be very, very, very animation, and it's gonna look something like this. <laughs> Yeah. So, uh, let's get into this. Check them. Okay, I got my socks on. I got my amazing. Tea. I got my pet. So we have creature here. We have the four main poses. Uh, for the walk, and they're very easy. I know that all of you are having trouble with the walking. Um, but I also have trouble walking. In here, not, you know, I can walk. Uh, now, um, walking in general, when you animate your walking or any other actions, kind of, uh, it's a little hard, you know, it's, it's easy to mess up, uh, which leg goes first, or which leg goes second, or if they have more legs, and so on and so on. Anyway, I'm not funny, I know, I'm sorry. Um, <clears throat> so we have these four main poses of walking. Now, if you Google, if you go to Google and, um, um, and type walk cycle, you will have a lot of a lot a lot a lot and a lot of different uh, sources that you can see how actually the walk the walk cycle to be done uh every walk is different uh, they have a, a whole book about this and you try to do any kind of action it's always good to have a reference so one of those things one of those ways not things um is to either film yourself walking are you ready for this are you ready to walk with me? This is so bad, by the way. Or you, you can just go to the internet and find some walking or something walking. I have here my main four poses. And the first pose is always the contact pose. The second pose is the passing pose. And then you, again, you have a contact as well. And then again, you have a passing pose. Uh, basically, your legs are contacting the ground. They're passing each other, contacting the ground. Passing each other on the ground. Um, and it's easy to get messed up which leg is uh, going first, which leg is going second. So, this is my main process, right? This is what I try to do. What I did is um, I had my layer with my, and the layer that I'm gonna animate, obviously, always, always animate on the on a separate layer in Twitter, and you just create one layer and then you animate on that layer. In my case, I was going to create this um, walk pose. Now, I did this first. And I call this poses, but then um, I went with I went and I did this. What I did here, I have two layers, right? I'm gonna hide the body first. Is if you're not sure how to do this, focus on one thing at a time. I'm gonna uh, animate a walk and focus on the walk itself. So here's my walk. I'm gonna play this for you. Uh, this is what it's. Oh, it's not taking. I'm stupid. Wait. <laughs> It's supposed to end on this frame over here, on the frame 13, and apparently I have set this to be on the frame 11. Now we're gonna fix this. Let's see how this looks now. It should be should be better. Yeah. Um. Now I know that here we don't have only four um poses or or keyframes. We have more than that. What we have is the the keyframes that you see here in blue. Those are my four. If you count them, one, two, three. One, two, three, four. What's wrong with today? <laughs> One, two, three, four. These are my main poses that eh, <laughs> that I'm gonna use as a reference and how my walk will go. And in between those, I have in between frames. Now, at first, I created those, and if you see my final animation, it it's very choppy because the frame rate is very low, and I'm only using four frames to do this whole walk there um here though i decided to just show you that uh, if you add more in between frames between your main poses your main keyframes you're gonna get, get way more smooth um animation uh but again it, it's more believable and the action the movement in animation is is the key that makes animation all right so this is my 
very rough as you see very rough walking animation what i did is first i did my main key poses as you saw if i click on here can i go here yeah. can i there we go my markers are sitting here so what i did is i grab now the brush that i use is not the best but i first did the torso like this and from here i start doing the legs again torso as you see in this frame the torso is slightly bigger so it won't be very accurate but um then on this frame i first did the torso and then on this frame i get torso then legs now if i uh, is it this one yeah if you if you're very if, if it's very complicated you can also try to do the with, with the stick figure uh, animations you can try to see how the, the leg works now if we're gonna do a perfect animation a perfect animation is slightly easier to to do the walking animation because you're basically moving the, the limbs and you're like adjusting them the way you want here you have to control them so that's the only downfall yes i don't know if you if you're not very uh, if you're not really confident in drawing then then draw draw more and don't be ashamed of your drawings like this is the best advice <laughs> um but these are the the stick figure methods as you see i try to do the front leg with um red and the back leg is with blue if i play this now it won't fit the walking because i already added in betweens to those main four poses now if i play this you see it's a little bit slow because i adjust here the the, the timing so let me hide the walk and we're gonna see only these and these are my four four my main key key poses my main key positions of the legs uh if i go through frames for the frames if i use my my arrow keys on the keyboard uh first then the leg passes and then the leg touches the ground and then the leg again the second leg now it's passing and then we go back to the this position um if you find this hard again the best thing you can do for any animation that you do is to get um a reference film yourself um find yourself find yourself a uh, find yourself a reference uh that way you can do that now uh i have important couple of reference one of those references is this one if you use the pin icon here on on creator i have another reference that i have hidden here this is my uh, my main amazing character i wanted the character to be easy and simple so you can if you want you can use the character i don't know once i did this walking um uh, cycle it's not amazing but it's something i decided to do the body the body as you see is on the different layer so now if i play this it's very robust as well but it's do it's it's selling the movement i think and the body i didn't put much effort into it what i did is drew, i drew the body on this frame and basically i copied this frame over here and yes the frame uh, the, the position the position the drawing here is slightly changing but what i'm doing is i'm copying this here on this frame and i'm grabbing my move to and i'm just adjusting this the way i want it and i try to do a, a slight movement on the hand because of the hands also move when we walk Duh. um and this is how i did for the rest of this whole uh, walk animation now this animation that you see here even though it's a rough it's a, uh, i did add the, these in betweens a little bit later so when we go to the final animation if i hide this if i go to final if i hide the text if i go to the final here i have this in uh one group over there i have the color that is on the bottom i have the highlights that are on the top of the color which makes sense um, and I have the clean look that I call this. I decided to draw the whole bear uh, with the with the legs and everything on one layer. And now uh, my animation is slightly longer, so I need to push this to be on to end on the eleventh frame over there. If I go to the first frame, if I push this now, it's a it's a miracle. Why? Right? It, this is like the basic what you can get with only four frames. Now, if you want to make this move, eh, you can get more frames uh, but this is like what you can get with some only four drawings if you think about it there are four drawings and each of those four drawings is visible in those frames those frames are visible in my case i'm animating here on one two three 
So one frame, one drawing is visible for three frames. And the frame rate that I'm using is 12 frames per second. And you can do this and you can, um, you know, practice your drawings and your walking. Uh, and obviously I didn't stop there. I just like to add a color and a shadow and nope and a mushroom and another mushroom. Uh, and out of my playlist, I get something like this. But then I got, I was like, I, I want more. Why not? And I went here in the Victor Zof. And, um, and this is what I got. And I had these mushrooms on separately because everybody loves mushrooms. Uh, except me. But I really didn't want to do I wanted to have more. Yeah, yeah, interaction and this is my uh, walking animation i can show you to you in the video screen and uh, this is the the video for today i hope this was helpful and uh, yeah that's all i have to say uh subscribe if you're new and here your subscriber person vision i don't know um i really appreciate it um and hopefully hopefully i will see you Hopefully, I will see you in the next one. Until then, stay healthy and uh, drink your vitamins. Bye.